120 students. Shall I cut it, madam? Something is uh, saying. Ah, no, sir. Oh. You, you carry on, sir. I look after, sir. That okay. So this way, and uh, this afternoon, uh, this is my fourth impact lecture. I am delivering to pharmacy students. Okay, I would like to share my PPT, madam. Now, friends, uh, all your, you know, madam, any others uh, other than pharma or only pharma students are there? My my PPT is out of uh, visible, uh, visible, madam. How it will be? The PPT is visible, madam. It is visible, sir. Sir, it is visible. Avikan, sir. So, the delegates, I think, small corrections. I think Zara has lost its correction. Just please wait for a few seconds. Sir, Ravikan, sir. Sir, are you there, sir? Sir. And something is appearing on the screen. The host is not allowing participants to unmute. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Now, oh, I'm audible. Yes, sir. You're audible, sir. You can start your presentation. Yeah. I'm 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 sharing my PPT here. Please. Yes, sir. Okay. Oh, PPT is also appearing on the screen. Yes, sir. It is appearing, sir. Okay. Please go in presentation mode, sir. Yeah, that's what for FI. And I'll show you just a moment. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Okay. Friends, uh, welcome to IAC online lecture series, Nursery of Age, Pharmaceutical Sciences, NIPS, NIPS, Minister of Pharmaceutical, Andhra Pradesh, India. The title is Entrepreneurial Skills, Passion with a Vision. It's been selected by Professor Swati Madam. I accepted it. Now it is due for delivery. Hope all you are with me. And this afternoon, we, we have to be synergized to undergo this uh, entrepreneurial passion and vision. Now, a lot of importance has been given to the word entrepreneur. You might be saying like, you know, start up, stand up, and uh, many other jargons. But entrepreneur, word, how it has come, now how we are using, how pharma, in, pharma industry is, uh, you know, rising, and pharma is the highest people you are in driver's seat don't mistake in that whether it is pandemic whether it is a non-pandemic whether it is regular day or any day pharmacists pharmaceutical sciences is the highest contributor for our gdp for our economy and you are the highest 
heights of the height places. Sir, your voice is not audible, sir. Just a moment, madam. Why it is unmute only, madam, here. But suddenly your voice is not audible. Okay. Just a moment, madam. Mute. Now it is unmute. Is it okay now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You can continue, sir. <laughs> it happens a little bit. Okay, don't worry. Huh? Today. Yes, this is me. I am a senior psychologist and startup mentor or else a social entrepreneur. I run my own group called Psychologist Consulting Group, which is located in Dilshuk Nagar, Hyderabad. This is my contact and WhatsApp number 94912 Below that, my email ID friends. Well, the jargon, earlier days, good olden days, we call this as industry. Now, industry is redundant. We won't use industry. Our grandparents, our professors, senior professors, they say, be industrious. Industry means hard work. Manufacturing, where primitive days, industrialization started, that moment, that is called industry. Today, it is not industry. It is enterprise, enterprise, enterprise in the sense in good old days, how we play five-day cricket. Today, we are playing T20 cricket. What makes the difference? Everybody knows. This is a playing five days. Viren the Sehwag is entertaining cricketer, enterprising cricketer. A smile on the face. And we'll get easily kicked. Kick. That's what you know. The jargon related to entrepreneurship started late 11th century or early 12th century and wherever human being is there entrepreneurship is already existing we indians are fine entrepreneurs for that matters known entrepreneurs that's why we have attracted all the world now from here i'll take all the way up to 20th century 21st century entrepreneurship kindly go through hope in a Hall also, they are, you know, audible and, you know, they are, they are watching me. Well, entrepreneurial timeline where we are discussing about early period is called before 1250 AD. In those days, kings were dominating and religion was dominating. Only royal courts were dominating. Medieval period, these three people, 1250 AD to 1500 AD, these three communities are dominating. So, church members, religious mentors, clerks in India, puja or look. And merchants, anybody who is doing any sort of, you know, buying and selling or else members of the royal court, these three communities are treated as entrepreneurs from 1250 to 1500 period is called medieval period. Later, in 16th century, entrepreneur, the term has been changed from those three categories to civil engineers. And what these civil engineers used to do? They used to do, they used to construct king's castles. Castles in the sense, only one way entrance is there. Remaining, it is closed. Castle, Amrita Castle was a hotel name. Now it is the hotel name is changed. In Hyderabad, there is one castle hotel by name Amrita Castle. Kings were living in castles. These engineers used to build in 16th century. Those are called civil engineers. Otherwise, church, church they used to build. And a lot of risk is there to construct these civil engineering buildings, castles. So 16th century entrepreneurs or civil engineers. From 16th century, 
it is moved to 17th century slowly greediness has started war started taking place every country requests military now india wants lot of military because everywhere we are having you know our neighborings or our enemies what to do because not now before independence after independence every time india has got rich resources that's why we are having lot of i the other way our enemies 17th century also military people are called as military people they are the risk takers not only that people who entertain with their military band whenever some festivals are there whenever some marriages are there especially kings they used to come 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 am i okay madam so this way 17th century the term has been assigned to military people entertainers and risk takers and band now comes this 20th people they have changed the world this is what you call this man you might be knowing thomas alva edison this man eli whitney contemporaries these two are contemporaries and 20th century scientists why i brought them faculties and students entire entire working class group people are categorized only into three broad headings this is been given by j b c jean baptiste c a french economist macro economist all the entrepreneurship is started from europe like all world is started from europe economy and entrepreneurship started from europe especially france jean baptiste say what he says entire working class you take anyone in the world these all working class people will be categorized into three broad headings those are called scientists scientists will discover scientists will invent these two are scientists who changed the world this man has got 1091 patents this man changed the world using he invented ginning mill what makes the difference between a human being and animal human being will wear clothes animals won't wear clothes with some freedom rich people dogs or pets may be wearing clothes first category is scientists scientists they discover and they invent and this man was crying those days in 20th century there was no money friend there was no money what to do i am inventing i am discovering these many concepts patents are with me but nobody is purchasing my concepts nobody is using my discoveries and inventions persons who are purchasing those invented and discovered concepts are called entrepreneurs scientists discover and invent entrepreneurs they do purchase in front of me mr bishi ac is there another room there is o general or i general ac is there these are all brands who invented air condition air condition is invented by some scientist what it will do it has got a compressor it compresses the air it sucks out the water from the air and likewise in your pharma there are many inventions many discoveries i am i feel always jealous about two three professions one is pharma the second one is agricultural universities the third is scrts and ncrts why you pharma people you break something add something delete something you are very creative destructors this term i am using who have been used this i can relate in coming slides then you will claim i scientist pharma people are scientists you are having lot of patents you are not normal people you are above the normal people not abnormal people you are above the normal people you are having lot of entrepreneurial skills that's why every pharma every agricultural scientist 
they are called as so scientist invents entrepreneur purchases the concept entrepreneur hires some people those people are electrical engineer mechanical engineer civil engineer computer science engineer etc etc engineering department is completed then managers marketing manager finance manager sales manager hr manager say then transportation drivers then canteen fellow from there is general manager from there to the gatekeeper watchman all these are employees now i am asking you a question you want to become a scientist in your own field or you want to become entrepreneur or else you want to become an employee you must fit into these three categories you may be posing a question to me who am i sir who are you sir i am a human scientist i am a human engineer i am a scientist where human problem is there i answer in my own small way don't mistaken okay next slide this is what i want to say this 16th and 17th century this is over then 18th and 19th century the term is slowly assigned to business 18th and 19th century slowly this has been changed the entrepreneurial concept changed from civil to military to business and 20th century 21st century onwards it is economics business trade commerce that is called entrepreneurship now i am exploring on a term called entrepreneur entreprende okay what is this what is this what is entrepreneurship okay what is entreprende from where it has come hide hide okay ha huh? tell me now everyone says this is entrepreneurship entrepreneur entrepreneur like that no this is not entrepreneur no drama at all it is soft spoken a french word in this french entreprende this is you know eclipsed by the top bar horizontal bar is eclipsing and it is hiding the word is being taken from french that is called entreprende french is very soft spoken language german is very harsh this is the difference between german and french french why this is taken from french because the man richard cantlin is a french who is he he coined this term entreprende using french term in french entreprende in the sense it is in english it is entreprende entrepreneur entrepreneur that's why richard cantlin is called as father of entrepreneurship who coined the term and who invented who was he he was a spanish man migrated to france his grandfather migrated to france and he is third generation frenchman he was running a commercial bank in 17th century 1730 see the beauty and what does it mean everybody would like to become entrepreneur what do you mean by entrepreneur entrepreneur meaning is go getter go getter in the sense person who goes and achieves and comes back for example vasco de gama they were having you know lot of lot of lot of items with them with europeans they wanted to sell and he has taken 1500 people in his wooden logs he wanted to go sell those items when he is selling those items he would get 12.5 percentage of profit but he started with 1500 people he reached to india by chance with 150 people see that is called that is why it is risky and 
entrepreneurs are also called as undertakers challengers they are courageous people we say in telugu greek virudu who was vasco de gama greeks these are all you know very courageous people go getter undertaker anyone who challenges any act is called entrepreneur primitive days and in between entrepreneurs are in between persons in between process and product in between place and product so he is the mediator or she is the mediator by now you have cleared all these terminologies now i'll move to the next slide see he is the one this man is called richard cantlin sometimes western people beauty is this they never leave what that they have achieved they keep in black and white we indians are lazy we never bother for the coming generations what newton says i am standing on somebody's shoulder and peeping that's why i have achieved this somebody already done something an essay on economic theory he has written this is richard cantlin sometimes he too is called as father of economics okay don't worry you are from science background you try to understand what is economics what is psychology what is sociology what is geography these you have to understand because we on these pillars entrepreneurship is developed otherwise you won't get passion unless you know the terminology of gdp gnp per capita income you you won't become it is easy to learn i am telling you not a hard this thing there is no hard and fast rule this man richard cantlin i am showing father of entrepreneurship next how many types of entrepreneurs are there there are there are four types of entrepreneurs okay these four types are innovative and for your knowledge if i want to share there are not only four types of entrepreneurs there are more than 200 types of entrepreneurs it is armchair concept anybody can see from his or her window you can peep from your window rural entrepreneur rural women entrepreneur uneducated entrepreneur technology entrepreneur science and technology entrepreneur today in europe they are talking it may be there in our ppt also stem entrepreneurs stem science technology engineering and mathematics stem entrepreneurs agricultural entrepreneur marginal entrepreneur marginal entrepreneur minority entrepreneur social entrepreneur serial entrepreneur not one not two likewise we can give more than number of titles in number of titles but i can confine to these four yeah, even out of these four also i will introduce you to innovative entrepreneur imitative entrepreneur what is innovative nothing is there but you are discovering and inventing and that is under your belt intellectual property rights some molecule is there and you are adding you are deleting you are changing its chemi chemical formula and it is working very well than the previous medicine then it is innovative that's why you have become scientist after some time after 10 years it will be you know open to the market and others also can copy that one the copy id product is called generic in your terminology if i am not wrong and others are imitative entrepreneurs for innovative entrepreneur you require lot of i is equal as you are a scientist for imitative entrepreneur you are mere entrepreneur if you are having resources nicely you try to channelize them managerial capacity will become imitative entrepreneur there's a generic medicine we say outside kindly correct me and these two are nothing to do with your profession these are for uneducated rural and very remote people and you try to explore drone and fabian that's why i won't explore next next is 
See, entrepreneurial terminology. How entrepreneurs have been entrepreneur subject knowledge. There is no subject as such. If these four or five subjects are there, entrepreneurship subject knowledge. It is started with economists. Who started? Richard Cantillon. Who said? J. B. Jean Baptiste say. There are many economists. I am bringing only these two. And forget not, my friends. If you want to run your enterprise, you must first step. You must work for profit and economic benefit. Profit is different. Economic benefit is different. Why I am delivering this speech? I will be reaching to the number of audience. Thereby, you come to know my skill. And you would hire tomorrow. Or other, you know, you may ask, sir, what else? What other programs you do? Then I say, blah blah. If you like, if need is there, yes. Who is the entrepreneur? What is the definition of entrepreneur? Who creates needs in others before creating needs in others? He or she satisfies desire her own needs. And answers the created needs in others without fail. Did anyone ask you? Tell me. I want AC. How it is invented? I didn't ask. AC is there so that you know I have permission. My my purse is my pouch is permitting me so that I am going and purchasing. Sir, I want this sweet. Did anyone ask? Nobody. Creating needs in others and satisfying others' needs is called entrepreneur. Before satisfying others' needs, you have to satisfy your own need. What is your need? Health is your need. Your family is your need. Your society is your need. You have to answer to your parents, in-laws, your teachers, your classmates, peer group. That is, if you want to become entrepreneur, there is no holiday. Three sixty-five days, twenty-four by seven. You must be sada tayar hai. Battalion number four sada tayar hai. We see in cantonment. There is no, but you know you have you are having. There is no boss for you. That is more freedom. Econ economy. First, this thing is economy. Where you run your business? Where you run your business? Where NIPS college is located, it is in the society. That's why sociologists do come. Four steps are there for any entrepreneur. First step is economy, economic benefit. Second is you are running your college in society. You are running your business or entrepreneurial activity in society, not in jungle. Third, social responsibility is there. Social responsibility. Uh, third is sorry. First is economic benefit. Second is social benefit. Third is the third is uh, something is there. And fourth is social responsibility. Whatever business you run, that is not. Uh, third is ethical. First is economic benefit. Second, you are running your business in society. Third. Is you are running your business ethical, ethical in the sense, naiti kata gilvala to kudina, where you are having values and you are practicing those values, then ethics will come. I bring ganjai, I bring some this thing, and I want to sell. Nobody, nobody will ask you. No, nobody will permit you. Society has got some standards. Those standards are ethical, naiti kata. Other business will go. You can't run. That is gambling. Ethics. Finally, after achieving lot of money, what do you do with this money? You may be living in a big bungalow, in a castle, but once anyone dies, requires three by six, three by six. He length and six breadth, three breadth and six length. Anyone rich person, poor person. So social responsibility in the sense, for example, you go to any super mall. There is written 
the if you purchasing if you are purchasing a fair and lovely they encourage you if you are purchasing surf excel ladies the 5 rupee which you are purchasing on these two products each product will be given 5 5 rupees to the girl child empowerment rural girl child empowerment through education through health through societal needs then they attract and you are giving back to the society sociology is what they do sociology is they think religion will come here what is that here a person by name max weber german weber economy weber he joined military he came back to church services he joined with his father's brother and he learned that one what is that protestant ethics how protestants they behave today how there is islam finance what does it mean islam economics hindu economics it is written in our scripts sociology starts about is talked about religion structure of the society what muslims they say the moment where anyone has worked for you by evening you have to pay back wages before the sweat becomes dry one has to give back that is sociology what is anthropology anthropology talks about your skull skull size skull shape last ape and first human being what makes the difference how they started their business and geographers most important thing world is world is really all the time world is in turbulent conditions in india if i want to say regional development north indians are entrepreneurs south indians are loyal employees why it is my research i can tell you i can tell you south india in the sense the vindhya satpura mountains hill range maharashtra below maharashtra we are producing you know lot of economy by the virtue of our education by the virtue of our english all ias ifs ips irs people are working for india and these have been produced majority of the times from south all under secretaries in parliament they are good english speakers they are policy makers but loyal employees only but north india you might be knowing only tata birla adani sambani you might be knowing only these two adani ambani mukulani vasani simani not one not two i couldn't remember now punjabis khatris gujaratis rajasthani marwadi and gujarat businessmen that was ipl final who will win a marwadi versus a guju kashmiris is most important not just because of geographical shape kashmir is the per capita income in kashmir is today highest in india because those many natural resources are there their backyard their backyard is full of full of flowers full of what you call uh, dry fruits వాళ్ళ ఇంటి వెనుకకు వెళ్ళామనుకోండి ఇట్లా వెళితే కథం డ్రై ఫ్రూట్స్ వస్తాయి ఇట్లా వెళితే కథం ఏదో ఒకటి మెడిసినల్ ప్లాంట్ వస్తుంది దట్స్ వై దే ఆర్ రిచ్ దే ఆర్ ఫేమస్ దే పరి క్యాపిటా ఇన్కమ్ ఈస్ మోర్ నౌ వీ హ్యావ్ టు థింక్ అఫ్ కోర్స్ నౌ యూ మే బి హ్యావింగ్ ఎ డౌట్ ఆర్ టు సార్ వీ ఆర్ హ్యావింగ్ నారాయణ మూర్తి ఇన్ఫోసిస్ నౌ వీ ఆర్ హ్యావింగ్ అజిమ్ ప్రేమ్జీ ఎస్ ద టెక్నాలజీ స్టార్టెడ్ గ్రూమింగ్ స్లోలీ even south indians are also because you know we are educated unlike north india i can tell you many things here our food habits are different we eat only we are rice eaters rice we eat and you know we sleep it is sedentary we say sedentary north indians are wheat eaters for that matters sri lanka to singapore all these cultures are rice eaters rice producers and rice eaters that's why there is no much development enough about geography regional development now comes psychologists this is ours psychology 
this man this man who visited india i'll show this man he is david mcclelland harvard professor who came to our institution in 1960 i took birth in 1968 my birth to 8 years before my professor professor eg parameshwaran merged with this man and they have done one experiment called famous kakinada experiment any management teacher management professor is there there are only two sub subjects which we are studying one is kakinada experiment the other one is bottoms of the pyramid from indian land we are studying in western part also otherwise all management concepts including hathron studies many studies these that is in past management by object mbo is also from western part psychology is what they do psychology we talk about attitude we talk about risk taking we talk about these are the ring rings by the virtue of these rings we guess and gauge what is your entrepreneurial risk you are entrepreneurial traits entrepreneurial motivation entrepreneurial personality perception intention my research topic is entrepreneurial intentions of professional students finally friends i can show you these photos also later as i am claiming i am international trainer you know how what i have done with these ring toss and you know these building blocks this is building block you might be watching this okay building blocks by the virtue these are, these are being developed by american psychologists they won world war because of these simulation games i'll show you later now the finally your role has come science technology engineering and mathematics this is stem what do you mean by this what is science what is engineering what is technology and mathematics philosophy is the highest subject philosophia love of wisdom we say and second out of philosophy mathematics has emerged mathematics has given logic out of logic science has been emerged and there are many sciences physical science is there so biological science is there you most of the times you are the combination of physical science and biological science organic chemistry biological okay botany and zoology if uh, i assume all you are pharmacy students later science and many things which comes first which comes later what is that why we are talking about the science technology engineering and mathematics who will be the first who will be the last here science means the scientific inventions and discoveries that will enhance the technology by the virtue of or the combination of science and technology engineers are emerging who is an engineer you are a pharma engineer anyone who gives solution to the existing problem he or she is called the particular area or domain engineer electrical engineer this is a problem electrical engineer will give electrical solution mechanical engineer mechanical problem computer science engineer computer science engineer the same way i had gone to infosys they gave me a title i am a human engineer earlier i was telling human scientist now i am claiming i somebody has assigned me i am not that very intellectual and i am not that very possessive man somebody assigned i am a human engineer psychology profession you are a pharmacist you are medicinal engineer so combination of these five subjects that will become entrepreneurship next sir this most important slide i want to tell you about this i is i claimed and already i told you that is indian entrepreneurship and its eras how indian entrepreneurship started if i want to say indian entrepreneurship started way back to rigveda the first veda rigveda where we were using vessels copper vessels to perform the yagna yagna itself is entrepreneurial activity in yagna 
there are 108 kundalis why 108 there are 108 cause i am bringing here a concept called cause before independence in the sense up to 1785 indian gdp was 25 to 35 percentage varying varied varied at the time of independence also indians were having 23.4 percentage of gdp world's one fourth products and you know economy is contributed from india almost all india japan germany and america america is always first that is pre independence pre independence what we were doing we were concentrating on caste based society my caste is my caste your caste is your caste and all we are mingling there was no caste difference and i am in my caste i am performing my caste oriented production agricultural society even then but you know they came once that uh, what do you say uh, they brought one company called east india company see the name east india company where they have established then gone now i am talking about peri pre okay peri peri means at the time of partition what happened how we have partition Pakistani people have got freedom on 20, uh, 14th August 1947. Indians have got 15th August 1947. That way we have party. We have partitioned. Pakistan is a created country. Not against Muslim, Islam. I talk truth. Don't get an eye. Muslim people, they never ask for a job. All of them are entrepreneurs. Even then, India has got lot of lot of lot of benefit. How? See, Viceroy was located in Delhi. Viceroy's building, today's parliament, our president's building, somebody's official this thing. They can't take at the time of partition. We were having trains, rail, we were having postal department, we were having telephone department, we were having lot of forest highest resources i'm talking about by being contributed by britishers and they have separated uneducated labor kind of muslim faith islam faith people they went to that side and what happened all you might be knowing a product called mahindra and mahindra it was not mahindra and mahindra my friend it was Muhammad and Mahindra. See, in those days, Hindu and Muslims were like, uh, they used to mingle neck in neck and they used to do business in partnerships. That um, Muhammad has been influenced by Muhammad Ali Zinna. Zinna said, you are industrialist. Why don't you come to Pakistan and you help your own religion people? If you come to Pakistan, I'll give you first financial minister, finance minister, first finance minister, Muhammad. Then Mahindra didn't give up. Mahindra, what he has done? This is what passion. This is what, you know, success. Mahindra has got another brother. So instead of changing the logo, they said M and M. It was earlier. Muhammad uh, and Mahindra, he said Mahindra and Mahindra today. One more example, if I want to share with you, you will get goosebumps. How many of you know Azim Premji, Vipro? Vipro's father, uh, Azim, Pre Azim Premji's father, Premji, you come here. We are by faith, Islam faith people. All our relatives are migrating. I too want to migrate. He said, Dad, I am, by my birth, I am Indian. I want to die as an Indian. See the beauty? Today, Vipro, how much of GDP, how much of employment? What a disciplined man. Later, I can share uh, passion and you know, success. I can share in last final slides. Post-independence, what happened? We got independence. And 1950s, we got our own constitution. Up to mid-60s, in the sense, 65, there was no industry. Only 
fire plants there was slowly iits ims were emerging and nehru was contributing to indian economy running from pillar to post and post to pillar he brought mahalanobian his fellow who was staying nearby bangladesh he was in bangladesh he came here and this 50 to 65 period is called license raj license raj anything you want to do you have to apply to the government and the government has to give you license lot of bribe there is no norm no form you might be you guys you might be enjoying a hero honda hero cycle those days it was munjal brothers you have to submit your prototype you have to submit your okay blueprint and you should not change that blueprint they have to keep for 3 months 6 months 9 months 1 year like that the moment where you give bribe then only how many of you know friends for cycle also you require a license for cycle also there was a tax that time the this man came this man came to india he was with our department 1960s he has done a famous experiment called kakinada experiment and we contributed risk is the highest matter risk and it is valid i can show you later and why china is shining like anything and why india is not like china chinese started the reforms in the year 1970s they are two decades 20 years ahead of us we indians will not having that much of reforms till 1990 the south intellectual pv narsimha rao we have elected i am from manthani we send him to assembly we send him to parliament that man he brought one great economist from oxford manmohan singh he was reluctant but he begged borrowed and steal he stole him and he brought manmohan singh they stood together they repaired indian economy i am using a word called lpg liberalization privatization globalization what exactly is this please try to understand from your professors liberalization all rules have been liberalized here was pharmacy here was engineering college before 1990 i got passed in 1985 my rank was mpc i am talking about 2325 there was no engineering seat only few few private engineering colleges are available today the combination of that is got innovation the combination of highest populated country china and the highest respective country democratic wise on par with india america together they are having 10 lakh 35000 or 10 lakh 36000 we india alone are having 23 lakh engineering students because of liberalization privatization globalization lot of policies have changed business has become left hand job later what happened post liberalization 2010 later 2014 and beyond everybody knows now see what exactly this man has done now i am doing for international programs also for indian program see this is ring toss there is a distance between the peg peg is not drinking peg 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 has got another meaning that is target goal you have to throw the ring and that would fit into that that is called your goal that is called your aspiration and thereby we guess your psychology your personality there there is a there is a kind of you know strategy later this lady is from syria this lady is from uh, honduras this is from ghana now she is in uh, oxford university she is studying she is doing her phd in education this is uh, Nigeria 
or Liberia, the down, down South African country, Liberia. See, this is Avicon, the present resource person. This is yet another simulation game. The moment where you do a boat, how you are making the boat, we can interpret your psychology. How you are putting the raw material into this. Later is another one. Now, how skills, entrepreneurial skills, passion to vision. What is skill? How you attain a skill? I am going through the title. So far, I have discussed about entrepreneur. How the term has come, how terminology has come. Later, second part is entrepreneurial skill. Let me see. How you attain skill? What is skill? Steps in attaining and retaining a skill. First, you require knowledge. What is knowledge? No. You have to add the lead and you will get edge. If you know, you won't become anything, skill oriented person. You must know. Once you know, you have to take the lead. The moment where you are knowing and taking the lead, you are having an edge. No, lead edge is knowledge. This knowledge will take you to understanding the things. Once you understand, using sorry, using your knowledge and understanding, you have to apply knowledge and understand. Then comes skill. Understand. How did you learn cycling? How did you learn how to run a cycle? Cycle has got two wheels, two pedals, a handle. It has got some balance, a seat. That is your knowledge. And you understood that way. You started applying. Oh, it is static. It will fall down. If it is running, you know something. The ground has got gravitational force. You keep on starting. Apply, apply, apply. Then you apply it and you got skill cycling without falling on the earth. One more term I am using, friends. Competency. Western people are palpitating for competencies, whereas Indians are still stuck with the skills. Competency in the sense. See how best four people are, five people are, ten people are cycling. Who will become the first in that race? That is your competency. Competency is higher order of skill. Not having the own car, how best you reach to the goal using less fuel, using less time, using less efforts. To the Goal is your competency. Steps in attaining. What do you mean by this entrepreneurial, effective ways of building entrepreneurial skills? How do you build entrepreneurial skill? I'll discuss passion a little later. How? If you want to become an entrepreneur, first step is what? You must start a business. Unless you start, if you keep Dreaming, dreaming, dreaming. No, like if you know nothing, will everybody knows? You must know. Take the lead, take a cycle and learn. If you know nothing, will take place. Likewise, I want to do business, I want to do business. It is not an idealist approach. I'm telling you, it is neither idealist nor idealist, it is just as yes, functionalist. It is a pragmatist business. It is work is worship kind of thing. Start a business. How? How you start a business? Like Apple, what he has done? He started a business. And take a different path. What Apple fellow has done? He hasn't taken on par with Microsoft Office, Microsoft Windows, Microsoft Excel, any other things. Already they have done something. I must take a different path. What is the different path? He is into animation. He is into movie. I'll show you Apple video. 
stick with the challenges unless you are in your own say comfortable area comfortable zone guys and girls please come out of those comfortable zones i can show you i can tell you examples 100 here cn rao cn or rao or cn rao sometimes he comes to your college also he is wipro chief southeast asia's chief he is second to the azim prem ji he was working as a scientist in ecil ecil was not doing well he said sir i want to come and join wipro there were only seven people in those days sir i am getting 48000 and pay is there perks are there he said with wipro sir you are coining this wipro if wipro is not functioning can you retain my salary cn rao mr cn rao take the challenge and come and join with me if i grow i give you if i do not grow again sir i lose that ecl job here also fire your fingers that's called risk that is called turbulent times what was the challenge with the tata indica tata people went to ford they haven't given appointment ratan tata sit there we took one year for him to get appointment they scolded him he has come back when you have no knowledge why you want to fire your fingers why you want to come into this he let let you settle with tata trucks no i want a public transportation car tata indica first model was a big failure because people were very comfortable with maruti 800 big challenges and today ratan tata is the owner of jlr i'll show and delay gratification gratification in the sense satisfaction your gratification your satisfaction your what do you say self motive all will be delayed but you must here comes a a trait called from psychological perspective you have to withhold that is called patience and persevering here comes one book title stay hungry stay foolish swati madam i am requesting if possible i'll send three titles stay hungry stay foolish is one of books it should be in your library anyhow you remind me from my money i'll give you these three books these three great sayings are by steve jobs he he never worked for anyone connecting the dots stay hungry stay foolish even i can dream these three titles please anybody is interested you approach your library after one month the book will be there that is my promise and i deliver otherwise you take these titles one is connecting dots second is stay hungry stay foolish entrepreneurs iim graduates 25 iim graduates they left their six digit salaries and they started their own one among them is monster.com gratification monster.com founder father was ias he was working for parliament as a chief secretary his company started in servant room like amazon how you build your entrepreneurial skills patience and persevering is most important otherwise you can't even i can dream rural entrepreneurs with innovativeness how they have anyhow these three titles i'll send to swati madam manage your own finance this is the utmost important in life one must manage your finances finance is the life blood either for any industry or for a family or for an individual or else for any activity i am telling you manage your finances and i am requesting with you all that invest your gray cells what i am doing great things i am investing my gray cells i wrote to them one of faculties professor suresh he gave me this chance 
and now I'm exploring with these almost all 250 plus people. Don't invest money. Volunteer to lead. Mark Zuckerberg, Facebook, how did he establish? How did he establish? Mark Zuckerberg was writing programming languages when he was at the age of seven. He went and joined Harvard for one education purpose. He has got an opportunity. He was sitting here and Harvard University has got 2,500 libraries. It is not new, even where I studied, Usman University has got almost all the 250 or 300 libraries. We have got our department library, we have got our college library, we have got our central library, we have got another library, like that. What was his task? Using LAN, local area network, I sit here, but I can read any book from all these 2,500 libraries. He has volunteered that project. He used his knowledge. He didn't take any money. Then he has got an idea. When we are connecting these many libraries, if we connect human beings, how it would be? But he has got a kind of law, a kind of attorney, a kind of you know, federal government's question. Then he has got a lady, Lee, L-E-E, -E, Lee. She was doing LLB from the same university. Every weekend, he and he, she was not that time neither lover nor wife or anything. They were working on that, you know, loopholes, Facebook. And they connected. They added a face to the local area network and today you see the technology, Facebook, the second richest man or first richest man at the age of 27 years, Mark Zuckerberg and practice communication skills. Communication is not talking English, emotional stability is there, emotional stability must be there and you try to call with names of your employees. You had to throw a smile. Lot of stories are here, but you know, Obama style of communication I like, and uh, there's a PPT on Obama. How? How he killed Osama bin Laden? He has got a great communication skills. He has got a great team. He has got great leadership. He was having practicing, practicing, practicing many things. And, you know, it ended up. We got rid of that man, Osama Bin. Practice communication skills, communication, the way, how? Can anyone show me Mark Zuckerberg is having full shirt with collar and tie and a coat? He is not having a full dress. Everybody questions, sir, where is the time to wear these many clothes and all that? I'm not a puppet in the circus. Always he wears a necklace, collarless t-shirt and on that he wears a blazer. And I'm telling you for your knowledge, always he wears, what do you call? Gray color t shirt, gray matter, gray matter, gray matter, gray cells in the brain. And here, learn from mentor. Who is mentor? Do you have any mentors? I have mentors. My father is my mentor, my grandfather is my mentor. That's why, following them, taking them as my ideals, I have become a teacher, third generation teacher. My grandfather was entrepreneur. I have become entrepreneur. Mentor. I am mentee. Take from your family. Michael E. Dell. Dell computers. Where I am using Dell laptop. Michael E. Dell was having a mentor. Where he joined in university days. First class, one of his professors was telling. 
what is your goal in your life you write on a slip and keep it in your pouch back packet of your pants every time you have to see you have to dream about that after 30 years the professor got retired as an alumni student he came professor didn't recognize sir i am michael e dell just because of your statement i have become i have taken you as my mentor today your retirement day i am coming and you know saying thanks to you i follow you i follow your speeches do you have any mentor mentor may be a teacher mentor may be a role model always you use apple but why don't you take <laughs> apple founder is your mentor and mentor some of his qualities you have to imbibe you have to practice lord rama is mentor for hanuman predecessor we say you have to gel with him or her your teachers are your mentors your parents are your mentors some politician is your mentor cinema actor is your mentor cricketer is your mentor you dress him you dress like him then you try to imbibe and you reach the way how they have reached their goals and in your own field you try to reach that is called learn from a mentor ideal man how human beings do learn they they learn from three things one is they imitate i imitate my my father it goes like that and next get involved with other entrepreneurs what does it mean you must take membership in entrepreneurial societies picky patapsi dikki dalit instead of chamber of commerce and industry any dalit is there you go and register you will get a newsletter tricor tribal corporation any tribal is there chinchu koya st lambada like this tricor i am i am visiting faculty i have done assignments for all this minority bist bist patapsi fab picky federation of indian chamber of commerce and industry if you are a software engineer hic hyderabad software exports association get involved with other entrepreneurs thereby you come to know regular meetings are there if you are not getting raw material if you have a problem they can solve finally help others with their businesses today business is not closed it is i scratch your back and you scratch my back ford is competitor for toyota but ford and toyota ford team send people to toyota and toyota people from japan they sent to the ford tata is insurance company american insurance group they tie up and they extract business indians are more there in america and american indians who are living in america they join looking into tata american insurance group likewise you try to help other each other businesses create win win situations all you might be wondering sir business means only money only this only that what is this who are these can anyone say can anyone guess this is infosys company founders there are seven people narayan murthy okay and likewise i can remember some some people ha huh? this man might be nandan nandan nilankini okay out of these seven people one person he always he is the leader i can show you one more here only there are only six people why they found with seven people one person by name aroda narayan murthy such a loyal man he said you invest 
I will give you hundred crores. Everybody invested. That is called vision. Next slide will come. Vision to mission. Vision to passion. This man has got a vision. What was his vision, friends? He was studying in a small engineering college. He got IIT seat. He went and told his father, "Father, I have, I, I have a passion. I want to study from IIT. Son, I don't have money. You know, I am a poor Brahmin. Where you have got seat in our backyard, a college by name, local college. Yes, you go and you know study from local college." He didn't answer. He didn't back answer to his father. Just he studied from local college, but his passion didn't die. After four years, he wrote get. He cracked that, and again he went to his father. Father, I got M Tech seat in IIT Mumbai. Same IIT Mumbai B Tech. Same IIT Mumbai M Tech. Father said, I am little bit of educated. Where I have no funds to. Sponsor you for B.Tech? How could I, you know, keep money on your M.Tech? M.Tech might be the highest studies. Father, I have got a scholarship. I will give you one fifty rupees back to you. Father said, need not give your money to me, but if you don't ask me, that will be great help. Passion, I am talking about. Passion never dies. Then Narayan Murthy from there he heard, I am Ahmedabad. He wrote, he cracked I am. Anyone who gets I am Ahmedabad, A B C, Ahmedabad, Bangalore, Kolkata. Then he has got. He was having a rank in his hand that he would get into finance, but he hasn't taken finance. That year, the college was introduced IT and systems twenty seats. Professor came. And induction program was on, and he said, "Anybody who would like to join the, he or she will see the heights of the places." He has shown a vision. Then he accepted those twenty seats. Narayana Murthy one among those twenty people. He has taken IT, but outside, what is IT? Nobody knows. It is. It was experimental subject. He was not having job. He worked there for two years as a tutor in IIM Ahmedabad. Later, he decided, "What is my life goal? What I am doing here? What was his life goal? His life goal was a different. He wanted to eradicate poor from India. Poor from India. There is no below poverty line, and many things have taken place. Many things." After that, I don't want to waste the time. From there, he had gone to France. France, he worked for four years. Again, he questioned himself. I wanted to eradicate the poor in India. What I am I doing? He comes back, and while coming back from France, he is stuck in Russia. He was talking. He he was born communist. He has taken a. Nearest route with low money, he was using a train from France to Russia, from Russia to here, like that. In this of aerial route, then he was talking French with a French lady. You might be knowing in Second World War why Russians they got defeat because of French spying. He got arrested, and he he has written in his book. He was there. In the eight by eight room, for three days, seventy-two hours, he was in a dark room. There was a small hole where he can piss. After seventy-two hours, one Russian soldier came with AK forty-seven. You are nothing to do. Your color is saying. Your passport is saying. Yes, you spoke French with that white lady. We are spying, and French are against Russians. That's why we arrested you. Sorry. Now you can leave. This is your air ticket. He questioned, "If I do not leave, what do you do?" Point blank, that soldier kept gun AK-47, and you will be shoot. 
first experience. He came to India, was working with Patni. There he met Sudha Murthy. Sudha Murthy was a young graduate. She was selected for TCS, first lady. And he met South Indian intellectual, all these. And he said after some time, four years after, Sudha, I want to marry you. Then the lady, she didn't, she didn't listen and overcame. Next time he approached after some time, Sudha, I want to marry you. She said, here one tooth, there one tooth. How old are you? How beautiful and young South Indian lady I am. Sudha, you are mistaken. I'm not saying I love you. No, I want to make you as my life partner. Then, if so, that is the case, when we are going down south and you come and check with my father. Sudha Murthy's father was medical professor. She called on a cup of coffee in the evening. He was taking he was drinking a cup of coffee and his father said hi and he was writing a paper for some conference like one of your professors and he went and sat in his room. After some time, Sudha again called, Father, he wants to talk to you something about. What is that? Sir, I want to marry. He stood tall and he said, after finishing the cup of coffee, Sir, I want to marry your daughter. Then, Father asked, what that you want to become in your life? Sir, I want to join the Communist Party of India. There are two varieties of parties, CPM, CPI. Communist Party of India is for rural and farmers. Sanki Kodavali. CPM, Communist Party Marxist is Sutti Kodavali, industry. Sutti Untenemo, other man. Sanki Untenemo, farmers. What do you do? No, no, no. If, you, if so, that is the case. I don't give my, son, my daughter to you. Do you have these experiences with you? How you develop passion? Then he has changed. He was a born communist. The treatment where he has undergone in the then harsh, hardcore communist country, USSR, and coming back to India, not to be Sudha Mukti, communist converted into capitalist. Do you have these experiences? You tell me. That is called passion. That is, that is called success. Out of seven people today, he's got only six because North Indian Aroda. The moment where they have reached, he called. This, this day you gave me 10,000. After 10 years, I'll give, I promised I'll give you 100 crores. All 700 crores and excess money is there. I'll be giving this 100, 100 crores to you. Would you invest in this? Aroda said, no. And one Aroda missed from this group and he is now staying in states. Remaining all six people, Shibu Soren. This man, Shibu Soren, uh, I don't know. This is Gopala Krishna. I met him. This is Nanda Nilekani. This is Narayana Murthy. And see, everybody starts with a small first step. What is this? Can anyone guess? Can anyone, you know, just uh, uh, type or else uh, uh, break the silence, unmute and uh, can anyone? Whose team is this? How many people are there? 11 people are there. This, this is the first found team of Microsoft. Till all the 11 people are, there is 12 people, there are 12 people, one lady, she died at the age of 72. She is the front of his desk person. He is not in this picture. Everybody starts with a small this thing. And uh, how, how many people are with me? Hardly. Eko Narayana, psychologist consulting group. Whenever I want people, I hire their services. 
there are many teachers there are many students there are many of my peer group people okay what is this i can show you this is passion this is passion i say the the founders okay now tell me apple is apple and uh, who are the apple steve jobs wayne and sweat something it is not appearing these three Can are the sir? founders what is sir uh, so the, i think the time is running out sir over another under two under three slides go now okay sir i won't waste your time what is okay. passion passion is a driving force passion is a driving force my dear entrepreneurs requires this passion it's a fuel and passion is a key predictor of entrepreneurs creativity persistence and venture performance and show you in another this thing this vision mission i don't want okay who is he vinod khosla who is he britain prime minister the man who is the combination of iit and iim you know the khosla what he will do he will give projects to the people he will sell projects the moment where he goes from delhi to bay area california there is a big queue in the airport looking into the rush they cancelled you must stay out of airport for the sake of, to meet vinod khosla not even they permit to reach this vinod khosla to reach all the way up to hotel sir you are having project and we are having money why don't you sell the concept we want from you sir likewise sun micro system he is called venture capitalist venture capitalist is capital is venture is capital is gray cell gray matter and what is the ethics here the moment where he has sold that uh, particular concept he should not work with others on the same concept for at least 3 years and he should not support any sort of you know knowledge sharing for other institutions in that particular domain software some this thing yes and some logistics yes some automobile industry likewise this man mints money mints money he is indian what to say and uh, this is what you know 10000 dollars he has promised and he has given at the time of you know pandemic oxygen cylinders you know those la next success in entrepreneurial activity passion to vision what was his passion his family father has given wipro what do you mean by wipro w i p r o western india products limited w western i india pro products what was those what were those products pulses and basmati rice is a muslim used to export to the middle east muslim people they eat basmati rice only if they are very low in their economic status they eat tukda basmati like nookal what is his passion this man's passion is he has to give part to he was not having entry get into tatas is a parsi tatas industry they didn't allow they gave a position once he came back from western education and he was in india young turk he has been placed in telco t e l c o telco was a sick television industry like ecl tvs were there telco tata electronics industry sick industry about to close and he has given a place he was not given a place in mumbai from there he went to pune and at 43 years only at the age of 43 he has become ceo present how many stories are there if you permit i'll tell you how did he establish taj there was no entry for him in england one of hotels he said 
who am i whoever you may be your skin is whitish color we won't allow this hotel is only meant for whites why he kept that name is taj mahal lot of things to be discussed here to be shared foreigners they go for world tour they come to china after that they come to india to see the seven wonders of the world taj mahal you have to see that agra taj mahal and you have to come and stay in our taj mahal why he used to run 360 days 365 days all diamonds jewelry exhibitions even today also exhibitions will be there why diamonds and jewelry for foreigners there is no tax if they purchase from their motherland they might have to pay more but whereas they come to india and they buy they don't have any risk what about this man's passion i am shortcutting i am rushing through and what is this this is gvk this is gv krishna ready gvk ready this is taj mahal how out of passion he has emerged he was celebrating his birthday he was a student of vb college he was in a graduation he took 6 to 8 people to the say taj where habits today is also it is there even you go today you have to wait in queue half an hour they were asking sir you have to wait for eight people seat sir how much time half an hour again 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 then he felt hotel industry has got this much of alluring concept so i have to build a hotel so that is passion and that is vision unless you have these experiences you will never come up in your life his grandfather was contract for nagarjuna sagar he is from affluent family he waited there by the time itself he was established but he wanted to take something from taj habits is still the same standards are maintained in the taj hotel habits but he is jeevi ke taj banjara he friends do you have these experiences with you who is he g kularedi i worked with him great man i worked with him he used to call me hare ravi kan what is his passion quality is his passion he never compromised why he has become sweet polarity there is there was an experience with him i don't want to share now because you know it's a big story but one thing i, I would like to share where you were going from jandam post office abits towards station road nampalli he has got cheap variety sweet shop in front of that there is a small gully small gully and a chinna sandu in that gully he has got some land not now friends today its worth may be 250 crores those days iskan people asked pullareddy garu can you give this land he said immediately yes and in return what that you want he asked that lord krishna permits me permanently beneath his feet at be the immense happiest person ayana padala chandra nannu undaniste nenu 250 crores it will 350 crores to 450 crores cost sare team means him he has got a passion sanskrit pracharak my goodness ayana unnanta varaku in karnool he would be called as majjiga pularedi whereas in hyderabad he would be called as sweet pularedi not one not two friends hope so this is completed if you permit me there are quite a few two or three videos otherwise it is okay and please uh, let me know any question answers are there please i would like to answer thank you madam thanks for the opportunity if you permit me i may be sharing one video or two videos and uh, i'll see sure sir sure sir okay then it is the case i'll show you the one which you do not know his passion you see these people now they think about uh, what do you call 
audio is not required is it okay madam is it appearing no, actually your presentation is being visible sir what about the uh, the story of steve jobs no video nothing is not visible video is not like the story of steve jobs uh, I, I, that is the presentation only the, the story of steve jobs are you watching uh, yes sir yes sir this is the one people see he he is Ah, no, sir. Ah, ah. You just your uh, people to blank slide is being presenting, sir. One minute, I just a moment, just a moment. What I do? Okay. Then I might be. Oh, just a moment, madam. Uh, sir, you need to stop sharing your existing window and share it again, sir. Ah, uh, sir, you are tech savvy. Thanks for your suggestion. I do that, right, sir? Just a moment. Just a moment. Hold. Only one this thing to educate you. Ah, uh, screen sharing has stopped. Oh, the shit. Window is closed. Madam, would you, would you, would you please uh, allow me to share the screen? Sir, you are already co-host, sir. You can share your screen. Now? Uh, yes, sir. Now it is okay. visible, sir. Only, see, this man was not having, this is, he doesn't know who was his father, who was his mother. The story is a different story. But, you know, in short, a, there was a soldier who was in World War II. He was a Spanish. He was not having kids. After Second World War, he came and settled in uh, California Bay Area to repair the uh, nearby sea and you know ships. He was. He wrote to the attorney. He wanted to adopt uh, a person who is a Spanish Hispanic. We say person who speaks Spanish is called Hispanic. They brought a girl. No, I don't want a girl. I want a boy. This boy came. After six months, one year. Then this boy was such a naughty boy, nobody knows. The story goes like that. But you know, this man was not at all a character oriented man. He was having a girlfriend. She got pregnant. He swallowed adopted parents all money. They got vexed up. They said, you are not our original son. Please move out of our house. He said, show me the document. They, they have shown the document and he went out. All sorts of misuse, disuse, misconduct, all this. He was not having money to go for his haircut. That's why it is called hippie, hippie haircut. Hippies means where you find nearby railway stations in India. They don't have any haircut. He has been molded by Indians. First experience for him was Hare Krishna Hare Rama. He heard, anyhow, Madhya Pradesh is Madhya Pradesh, hungry is hungry. And to fill his stomach, he walked nine and a half miles. He used to walk Wednesday on Thursday night. He used to reach by nearby Hare Krishna temple and goes for bhajans. He fills his stomach like you know garbage. He won't, you should not get hungry. Likewise, he has done. He heard of that and he came to India. He has enlightened here from Shivananda Ashram. He said, Indians are highest intellectuals, second highest intellectuals here. And likewise, you see what exactly happened with Steve Jobs. With a vision, with a passion, already the Microsoft Windows are there. Why should I go? I want to go towards video gaming. That is vision. Was in company in a garage, backyard of his. Friends, this is the highest lesson. Don't worry, your second bedroom would be your company, Amazon. Like monster.com, servant squatter is his company. See, Apple computer is this. How many of you believe? 
Not this is. Next, Apple is like this, 1977. Apple 3, 1980. 1983, 1984, 1985. Once he sold his local car called Porsche, like our Marty, 800 Porsche is American local car. He sold his local car, then only the Apple has realized. 86 he has got this film, this Lucas film. Later, Macintosh 2. Macintosh. Next, next computer, this thing. All you might have heard this Jorgens. 1995, he is into animated films. $29 million. I'll tell you the story. 1997 only he released his color photo. Till that moment he was in black and white. 2001 iPod. <laughs> See, today the company's asset is Andhra Pradesh. In the sense, Telangana and Andhra Pradesh together, their three months revenue is our one year finances. 5,000 trillion excess dollars are with them. If company is closed today, I am working in Apple company, me, my next generation and my next generation, my grandchildren gen generation are also having funds to give salaries on par with those standards. That is the beauty with one business person who dreamt and realized ruling the world. See? See? Apple. Everybody's dream. Steve Jobs. Jobs said he will not give the keynote at us. Yes. Yes. Anyhow, thanks for the opportunity and you know, madam, thank you very much. Hope one or two questions I am ready to take. Anybody is, especially from student community. Otherwise, sir, my name is Regala Ravikant. Madam, my name is Regala Ravikant. 94912 is my contact number. Madam, what I promised from my money, I'll be sending those three books. These sure. are the Steve Jobs sayings. Keep in library or else distribute to anyone. That is connecting dots. Tenth fail candidates who are ruling. Like I can tell you a story that is uh, Dosa Plaza. How I, I was interpreting Castle Plaza means any round circle or rectangle closed business community is called a Plaza. In Hyderabad, we have what Aziz Plaza. If you stand, you can see 360 degrees. Dosa Plaza, that Narsai Ganesh, who is from South India, who started his business, first story, who got failed and rural, and they have got. Second is, stay hungry, stay foolish. All I am graduates. All I am Ahmedabad graduates. Who left their companies with six-digit salary. And now they are shining like anything. One among them is monster.com. Finally, who are creative and all that, they are from rural and they are doing tech business. That is even I can dream. These three statements have been given by this man and they have been written by taking these uh, different stories. One professor is there, 50 million. <laughs> I send this, this, these books to you. <laughs> Thank you very much, madam. Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity, sir. Thank you. So yourself have also given opportunity of giving a textbook for us. Yeah, sure. And a very brief explanation on the entrepreneurship has gone in the session, sir. You have started with uh, where the entrepreneurship has started. What is the meaning of the entrepreneurship? So exact what a student should learn in their life to become an entrepreneur. Apart from not only economics point of view, ethics and social society point of view also to be considered. And not only the knowledge, implementation of knowledge gives a pathway for entrepreneur. 
so you have very smoothly taken the topic into the brains of our students sir so i hope among the students who have uh, listened this session at least one entrepreneur is uh, yeah. coming out is a very good uh, unexpected fruit for all of us sir yes so i thank the opportunity uh, sir really for accepting our invitation and having a very good and pleasant presentation on today sir so on behalf of the management and from a principal dr jain suresh kumar sir so i am very pleased to share you sir so just stop sharing your screen sir i'll just share the certificate sir in live yes yes sir so delegates please hold on for a few minutes uh, feedback link will be shared very soon can i close this screen yes sir hope uh, uh, i have closed okay ma'am ah uh, yes sir so yes ma'am and madam before this i am very thankful to suresh kumar sir your chairman sir and you know especially you and many others who are all the participants and all that really you know i am very honored mm, so far another eight more uh, impact lectures in the same iic institution innovation council i am going to deliver but you know the highest number of participants here according to you in a hall you organized and my voice has reached to the across student community and esteemed professors of various departments thank you very much madam thank you sir for accepting our proposal and also a token of gratitude sir so now take the opportunity to invite ms ramateja ma'am uh, assistant professor department of pharmaceutics sir. national bar institute of pharmaceutical sciences to have word of thanks good afternoon to the honorable chief guest respected principal sir staff members and my dear students i feel honored and privileged to get this opportunity to propose out of thanks on this special event of phase 2 impact lecture series organized by institutes innovation council and narasrawpet institute of pharmaceutical sciences initially i would like to thank our honorable chairman sri mittapalli venkatakoteshwar garu for his continuous support and encouragement to organize this lecture series i thank our respected principal dr jn suresh kumar sir without whom this event would not have come to existence i would like to express my heartfelt gratitude to today's resource person sri aluri v krishna raju strategic research council general manager r and d laila neutra vijaywada we are really enlightened with your knowledge and presence sir on behalf of the organization i would also extend my sincere thanks to our second speaker of the day professor regal ravikant startup mentor entrepreneurial motivational trainer psychologist consulting group hyderabad for his excellent presentations and making this session interesting and meaningful a special thanks to the iisv convener mrs v swati and faculty coordinators mr ch ajay kumar mr p lajaru mr uh, miss a sweta pratima who have made this lecture series a grand success i am happy to express thanks to all teachers and non teaching staff for their unflinching support our heartfelt thanks to the students for their active participation i want to extend my sincere thanks to all the de delegates who have attended this impact lecture series phase 2 from various colleges of different states a total of 384 delegates have participated in this impact lecture series once again i thank all for your cordial cooperation with these warm words we will move to the end of today's impact lecture series thank you thank you sir thank you uh, let's stop the library pardon sir Shall I sign off? Ah uh, yes, sir. Thank you. So, Thank you. Uh, delegates, you can please find the feedback link has been shared in the chat box. Thanks to principal. Thanks to chairman, sir. Thanks to director, secretary. Huh? 
Yes, for sure. Sure, oh, sir. Thank you. Thank you for accepting the proposal and being a part and participant of this event. Thank you very much. And making the program successful. I also request all the delegates for the support in the second session, which will be planned very soon, within 10 to 15 days. Thank you, one and all. So a small request for all the delegates, the, uh, the feedback form, the setback will be issued for the first 100 people who have uh, filled the form today. So for others, the form can be filled by tomorrow. The link will be active for tomorrow also. Please take this into kind consideration.